Hi everyone, Mark Gallant here with Remax Avante. Back in the fall, I brought you along for a drive through the North End to show you around a bit. And my plan was to do the same with another popular neighborhood in Moncton, which is the West End. But sometimes things don't go exactly as planned, so we roll with it. Not that pothole season necessarily ever goes away completely around here, but in early spring, it's definitely at its peak. So mounting my camera on the dash and driving around ended up not being an option unless I wanted to make everyone car sick. Instead, I decided to go around and just try to give you a general feel for the neighborhood and show you what's around. So the area I decided to focus on today is what I consider the epicenter of the West End. And that's everything north of West Main Street up to St. George Boulevard between Vaughn Harvey and Route 15. Other than on the main streets I just mentioned, which have the usual places you'd expect on a main drag, like coffee shops, a few restaurants, car dealerships, and other commercial slash retail spots, this area is mainly residential, with most of it being made up of detached homes of varying shapes and sizes, from early 20th century right up to fairly new construction, some semi-detached homes, small-scale multi-family units, and larger apartment buildings. There are four schools in the area. Ecole Saint Bernadette is part of Distri Scolaire Francophone Sud and is for students from K to 8. The school has been on these grounds since before my time, but this building is only seven or eight years old. Only a few minutes away on Besbro Avenue is Besbro School. It's part of the Anglophone East School District and is for K-8 to students. Early French Immersion is also offered here. I've had and still have kids at this school and can 100% tell you that it's a fantastic school with great staff. A two minute drive away on St. George Boulevard is another K-8 to school in the Anglophone East School District, Hillcrest School. Besbro and Hillcrest schools are both older buildings, I believe from the 1950s. It was announced last year that a new school would be built here on the grounds of Bernice McNaughton High School, replacing the two aging schools and combining them into one. West End Community School, as I understand, is what it will be named. Bernice McNaughton High School is part of the Anglophone East School District for students in grade 9 to 12 and is part of the French Immersion Program. I have three kids here and can vouch for this one as well. We have some really great schools in the Moncton area in general. There are no Distri Scolaire Francophone Sud high schools in the West End, but French high school students living in the area attend Ecole L'Odyssée, which is only a 10 or 12 minute drive away just off of McLaughlin Road. Jones Lake is a man-made lake that sits in the area between West Main and St. George. It's not safe for swimming, but it's used for canoeing, kayaking, and this is where Moncton hosts the annual Dragon Boat Festival. Walking trails also follow most of the perimeter. In winter, when temperatures cooperate, you'll also find skaters on the lake. A big plus of the area are the number of parks. Besbro Park is a nice spot to relax and is very quiet. It has lots of benches, trees, and a gazebo. Rosewood Park is similar with the addition of a city-maintained skating rink in winter. Prince Edward Park sits near the corner of Vaughn Harvey and St. George Boulevard. This one has a small playground, splash pad, and another city-maintained skating rink in winter. By far, the largest park in the area and popular among Monctonians in general is Centennial Park. You can easily spend an entire day here with your family. It has a newly built pool area, which opened just last summer if I remember correctly. Camp Centennial hosts day camp for kids during the summer. If you like walking, there are tons of walking trails, both in the woods and around the man-made lake. For kids, there are two playgrounds and a splash pad during summer. Rocky Stone Field is where a lot of organized league and high school football is played, and nearby, is a lawn bowling area 
in the Moncton Tennis Club with several tennis courts. You can also find benches, picnic tables, and grills for barbecuing throughout the park. In winter, you can do some sledding. There are two skating rinks and several kilometers of cross-country ski trails. The city has also announced a makeover, so I look forward to seeing the updates. So being a West End resident myself, I could go on, but my main goal today is just to give you the highlights. If you have any questions on this or any other neighborhood in the greater Moncton area, please feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to talk to you. If you found this video helpful in any way or know of anyone who could benefit from it, please feel free to share or tag them below. Once again, my name is Mark Gallant. I'm a realtor in the greater Moncton area with Remax Abonte. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.